In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the flip side bracelet using the new Monster Tail Loom. This is a design that I had come up with back in February on the regular Rainbow Loom, and I've decided to show how to make this on the new Monster Tail Loom. And I've decided to use three different colors. You can choose as few or as many colors as you like. You will need about 90 rubber bands, depending on the size of your wrist. So I've chosen a green, a pinkish purple color, and black. So for the first layer, we're going to start on the right hand side. We're only actually going to be using the three pins on the right. I'll start on the pin that's closest to me at the bottom with my first color and I'm just going to the next pin up and twisting. And then you want to push this down. And now I'm going to switch to my next color, which I have this purple color, and it's going from that middle pin to the next pin up and twisting. So that's what the first layer is going to look like. And now for the second layer, I'm going to switch to black. So this time I'm going to start on the bottom pin that's closest to me. I'm going to skip the center pin and it's going to end on the next pin above. So I wanted to stretch around this middle pin. I wanted to stretch around the back side so it's in towards the center and go to that pin above. And you want it to be on the back side of the pin so it doesn't get in the way of you pulling your bands over the top on this open end of the pin. And so I want to push this down and now I want to put the third layer on and again it's going to be the same design as the first layer I'll be starting with green and it will go to that next pin up there's no need to twist anymore and now I'll switch to purple and it's going from that middle pin to the next pin above and so now I have three layers on and what I want to do is remove the bottom layer so starting on the pin that's closest to me here, I'm just grabbing this one single band, pulling it out and over the top. And now in the middle, I'm going to have two bands to remove. I'll have the green and the purple. So I'm just going to grab them both at once and it's going to come over the top and into the center. Just make sure that these upper bands are not getting pulled off as you're pulling that over. And then on the top here, I have just the purple to come over the top and into the middle. And then I'm going to push this down. And so my next layer will be black. It's stretching from that first pin up to the third pin. You're going around the middle. And also make sure that it's going to the back side of the pin, to the inside. And now I want to remove the bottom black layer. So it's only going to be on the outside pins. So I'm grabbing this bottom, pulling it over the top. And then up here, I'm doing the same thing. And then push this down. And so now it's back to the green and purple layer. So starting on the bottom pin, going to the next pin up. And now I'm going to take purple. That's going from the center pin to the one above. And now I will remove the bottom layer. So I have just this one green band on the end. I have the green and purple in the middle. It's going over the top and into the middle. Again, just make sure, especially on the center pin, that you're not pulling those two upper bands off your pin. And at the top here, just the purple. And then push this down. And now it's switching to black. Again, it's going from the first pin up to the third, stretching around the back side of that middle pin. And now I can remove the bottom black band. And it's only going to be on the end pins. And now push down. So that's all there is to it. I'm just going to keep alternating. So I have the two colors on the one layer. And then I'm removing that bottom layer. So it's always going to be one on the end, two in the middle, and one on the other end, pushing down. And then I'm always switching after that to the next black that is going from the first pin to the third pin, skipping that middle, 
on the inside and then when you remove that bottom black you're only having one band from the two ends. And it's going to grow down through the middle here and work its way out. So I will just continue on in the same pattern. When you have your bracelet to the length that you'd like it and you're ready to take it off of the loom, you want to make sure that the last layer that you placed on is the one that has the two different bands on. And so you want to now remove the bottom layer. So you're taking the black band or whatever color you're working with just off the two end pins. And so now you're left with one band on each of the end pins and two in the center. And so what I'm going to do is start on the pin that's closest to me. I'm going to take this rubber band off and move it to the next pin over into the middle. And then I'll do the same thing on the other end here. I'm taking this other band and moving it down and to the center. And so now this middle pin has four rubber bands on. And so now what I'm going to do is take both of these bottom bands and pull them over the top and so now there's just these two bands left on that pin and so I'm going to take my hook and get both of these bands on there and now I can take this off of the loom and I'm going to take a clip I have an S clip here you can use whatever clip you have available and I'm just going to put these two loose ends through one end of the clip and then I'll go to the other end of the bracelet and I'm going to pick up these two bands on the other end here and I will hook them through the other end of the clip and then here is your bracelet. So on the one side it's going to have two fishtails that sort of come to a point, they're on an angle and then on the other side you're going to have more of like a braided look that has the colors coming together. So that is the flip side bracelet and I will show you some other ones that I had made previously. Here is one where I just used two colors, black and white, and that's what it looked like on the other side. And here's another one where I used three different colors. I used blue and green jelly bands with the white. And that's what it looked like on the other side. I hope that everyone found this tutorial easy to follow. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my latest creations. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!